Hi boys and girls, how are you? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm gonna start with my riddle. Now this one is kind of from the movie Frozen. Why can't Elsa have a balloon? I bet you'll figure it out. Today I'm going to read the story Something Beautiful. It's by Sharon Dennis Wyeth, illustrated by Chris K. Sampiet. It's a really good book. You know, all my books are my favorite, so Something Beautiful. When I look through my window, I see a brick wall. There is trash in the courtyard and a broken bottle that looks like fallen stars. Does it look very nice? Uh, there is writing in the halls of my building. On the front door, someone put the word, die. Not a happy place. Where I walk, I pass a lady whose home is a big cardboard carton. She sleeps on the sidewalk, wrapped in, in plastic. I run past a dark alley where mommy told me I must never stop. Behind a fence, there is a garden without any flowers. Mommy said that everyone should have something beautiful in their life. Where's my something beautiful? The teacher taught me the word in school. I wrote it in my book, B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L, beautiful. I think it means something that when you have it, your heart is happy. I go to Miss Delphine's diner. Hi there, sugar pie, says Miss Delphine. What are you up to? I'm looking for something beautiful, I tell her. Sit down for a minute, she says. Then she goes to the grill. She puts on a fish. The fish, fish sizzles. Miss Delphine makes it into a sandwich. There's nothing more beautiful than chase tasting my fried fish sandwich, she tells me. My teeth sink in. Mmm, it is good. When I go back outside, I see some of my friends. Do you have something beautiful, I ask them? I have my jump rope, says Sybil. I have my beads, says Rebecca. Check out my new shoes, says Jamal. My fruit store is a beautiful one, too, says Mr. Lee. You do have nice apples, I say. Thank you, says Mr. Lee. Take one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Watch my move, says Mark, playing ball on the playground. Hear my sound, says Georgina, dancing on the sidewalk. Touch this smooth stone, says old Mr. Sims, sitting on his front steps. All these years, I've carried it in my pocket. Through the big window in the laundrette, I see Aunt Carolyn holding baby Carl. And where are you off to, little miss, she asks me. I'm looking for something beautiful, I say. She hands me Carl and folds up the clothes. I tickle Carl and he giggles. He makes me giggle too. My baby's laugh is something beautiful, Aunt Carolyn says. I go back home and I sit down on my stoop. I look at the trash in my courtyard and I see the word die on my door. I go upstairs, I get a broom, a sponge, and some water. I pick up the trash, I sweep up the glass, I scrub the door very hard. When Di disappears, I feel powerful. Someday I'll plant flowers in my courtyard. I'll invite all my friends to see. I will give a real home and a real bed to the lady who sleeps in a cardboard carton. She will sing and I will hear her song. Mommy comes home from work. She gives me a great big hug. Do you have something beautiful, I ask her? Of course, I have you. And that's the end. I like the way she took something that she didn't like, that she didn't think was beautiful. She cleaned it up and made it beautiful. So, why can't Elsa have a balloon? You ready? Cause she'll let it go. <laughs> I 
miss you. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.